Hello everyone, Andy here. I'm back with another, it's an update on my blog that I was doing about having another scare after being 10 years cancer free. I'm really sorry that I haven't made a video about this and kept you updated about my health situation. Um, things have been pretty manic in my life and really, and I shouldn't have done this, but I kind of just put my health situation on the back burner mainly because I got to the point where I was getting so frustrated with the doctors because I wasn't getting any answers or results I was just doing blood test after blood test and getting the same thing said to me and no one was coming up with any suggestions of what it could be there was like uh, it's basically I felt like I was being a hassle to them and I had to stop sort of harassing them and it did get to the point where I probably was harassing them a bit because I was in such a bad place in here because I just couldn't let it go. I, 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 it got to the point where I was making myself worse so I had to just let it go but um, recently there's been a, 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 a ch change in my health. It's got worse from the situation that it, it already was. It's not got better over the last sort of five months. Um, I want to explain what's happened and what has come from what's happened. So I'd just like to say for anyone who hasn't watched these videos, I'm going to put the playlist at the end. <clears throat> skip straight to the end, watch the playlist and then watch this so you have a bit of an understanding before you watch this video. Also, if you could subscribe and change the bell notification to all, I'd be so, so grateful. You'd be helping me grow the channel and get to a wider audience. And also, if you could hit the thumbs up, that would be amazing. Let's get straight into today's video, shall we? So... About two weeks ago, I was sat at my computer doing some work. I got up to make a coffee and I got this really strange sensation down the right side of my body. And it, it was kind of like it had gone to sleep like it was dead or like I'd been lying on it and it had gone to sleep. And as I was walking, it started to go like cold and, and the feeling started to come back to it. Um, eventually but it took quite a long time for the feeling to come back and that happened two days on the trot then on the third day I like I was just walking around the flat I, I, I took a step up, up one step and my foot cramped and uh, like my my toes were curling up and I was doing everything I could to push them down I was I could struggling to push them down it was really, really bad. And I was trying to push them down and massage it out. When I pushed them down, it just made it worse. And nothing would get rid of it. And then all of a sudden, it just eased off. But it didn't go fully. It was like it was my foot was still half in cramp. And it felt like at any second, it was just going to go back into it. So I kind of kept on having to wriggle my toes just to make sure that it didn't go back into cramp. If, if that makes sense. If anyone's had that... <laughs> Let me know in the comments, it'd be interesting. But uh, yeah, that, it, 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 it was odd, but I just thought, oh, it's just cramp. And I kind of thought I'd just been sat at the computer for too long and that's why I got the funny feeling in my side. But then last week I was sat at the computer again and uh, I got up and I started hoovering. But when I like, no, no, sorry. I. I I got up and I felt had this funny feeling and I got it again for two days. Then I was hoovering in my front room and when I was hoovering, I suddenly got cramp in my left calf and it was, I've, I've had cramp before, but this, the cramp in my foot was nothing compared to this. I don't know if it's just different places hurt more, but this was unreal. The whole back of my calf was cramped up and sore. It's still kind of sore now to touch. Um, 
it it was unreal the pain and my foot was being pulled back this time and I was doing everything I could to push it down and it was just it just wouldn't and when I pushed down it made it worse and when I let it go it let it just got worse and and I was just holding it in place in the end to stop it from breaking itself and it was just building up and building up and then I woke up on the floor so I must have just blacked out from the pain I'd passed out and I know I've got epilepsy and I know it wasn't a fit because I was very coherent. I knew my surroundings. I would got a message before I would had the cramp. So, and it was just before I would got the cramp, literally just before I hadn't even looked at the message. So I looked at my phone to see what time I'd got the message looked at the time and it had been just over an hour but it had probably been about an hour with me getting the phone and sorting all that and stuff but I think quite a lot of that time had been spent with my with my calf cramping rolling around on the floor and just ho holding my breath and all sorts to try and cope with it but it was unbelievable when that passed, I, I st it still fe it felt like it was still could have cramped up at any second. It was really, really sore to touch. I couldn't walk properly on it because it was seized up. And I called the doctors and spoke to the receptionist. She said, right, we need to get a doctor to call you back. I got a phone call from the duty doctor and I explained to him everything that had been going on because he he didn't have any idea of my history like what had been going on for the past 10 months back when it started so i went through that and he he got a bit fed up and kind of told me to get get to the point so i explained about the cramping and stuff and he was like right well we'll book you in for a blood test and we'll get um, your doctor, who's your doctor, and we got my doctor to call me back for the next day, which the blood test was booked for Tuesday, this just gone, and the phone call was Wednesday morning. And I, I the blood test was for lots of different um, vitamin levels and stuff like that, and the hormones and um it, it, testosterone because testosterone is something that i was concerned about it, it it seemed to ring it seemed to fit with all the symptoms that i've been getting and having but um my testosterone levels in the last blood test that i had ages ago months ago was was normal but my other two hormone levels have shot up but it, they, they weren't concerned about that um this time everything came back normal when the doctor called me on Wednesday and um, we were a bit baffled. There was one of my other um, the, the vitamins that came back low was vitamin B. So they gave me some, some tablets to take to, to help boost that, which I got today, um, Thursday. <laughs> just to let you know um, and yeah I, I started taking notes today but we 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 talked extensively about what had been going on and I was getting quite frustrated because I wasn't getting any answers and I explained about I, I was like look can stress have anything to do with any of this and we I, I was thinking of everything I was saying to him like look because he said like what do you want out of today what do you think it is he was trying to say do I think it's cancer I was like look look I, I don't know I'm not I thought I, I that's why I've come to you but um he said about being like severe fatigue and stuff and then he sent me he said like he said about something I can't remember what he said and then he sent me a link by a text message for it so that I could read into it and it's called fibromyalgia I think and um, basically that's that's what we think it is I think and um, 
it 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 causes all of the things that I've been suffering with. Like it it, it causes you know what I mean fatigue. Um, it causes pains all over your body. Uh, it it causes that burning feeling, that funny feeling that I was getting in my leg, and I've had that before in my other leg, um, years back. Uh, it, it's nerves. It's to do with a chemical imbalance in your brain, I think, um, from what I've researched. And I haven't done much research, but I've done a bit. And uh, yeah, it, it, it causes depression, anxiety. It's it, very similar to testosterone um, when you've had low testosterone. So it, it's something that, you know, I mean, people that are like got a normal testosterone readings but are thinking that they've they've had testicular cancer and it could be low testosterone but it's they're, they're not getting any help it could be fibromyalgia from Malaysia I cannot say it to save my life <laughs> I will put it up here so you know what it actually says because I don't think I said it right but that's basically what I've got. It's not great. It's 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 something that you you have to live with, and it kind of makes sense because everything flared up, and things had got really manic and really hectic in my family life, and it still is, and it's kind of got worse. So, and it, it seems to be stressful situations bring on these funny sort of episodes attacks almost so I, I'm gonna try and do as much research as I can and find out some information I want to do another video I'm gonna end my uh, like having a scare vlog with this video and uh, I'm gonna do I might do a vlog about this and um, finding out about it and stuff and I don't know, the doctors won't let me film that, but at the moment you've got to go on the phone, but um, it'd be cool to get some footage of that and uh, have it explained properly on camera by a doctor, but I don't know whether they'd agree to it. Um, I, I'm going to continue researching on YouTube and try and find out about diet and stuff like that and what I can do myself without medication to try and help this situation. Because... Um, uh, stress is a huge player in this. It, it, it apparently it really spikes it. So I I need to de-stress my life as much as I can, and uh, that's what I'm trying to do at the moment. As you can see, my office has has changed a little bit. The layout of my videos. I've moved into an actual office room. Um, gonna. Do some work on it and make it into a nice little office area to do my videos for everyone. Um, to be honest, I think that's all for this video. I just really wanted to sort of end this and let people know that I've got a, a sort of diagnosis. And, and, and apparently this diagnosis is really hard to get. And it's something that it makes sense. It causes like memory problems, concentration problems and stuff like that. And I've had all those for so long. And it can be caused by uh, traumatic, like like having brain tumors and brain surgery can bring on something like that. So maybe I've had it all the time. And when I've been told by the doctors, well, it's residual brain damage or like the headaches you're getting and just you're just gonna have to live with them because it's the consequences at least you're alive because um, those are the sort of things that I've been told that's why I, I've left things in the past and it's only been in the last year that I've changed and been very persistent and started talking and sharing a lot and making these videos and trying to get my message out there um, I hope that these videos have been of some help as well and shown the real side because I was really, really affected. I was convinced that I had cancer at one point and it, it's, it, was, it, it was making me ill. Like I said before, it, was re it really was making me ill. You could see it in my videos, I think. 
it's and it, it is uh, i mean i still feel unwell now i still feel weak my concentration isn't good uh, i'm trying to do my best and that's all i can do so i hope that this video has been good for you like i said before if you can give me a thumbs up even a comment would be excellent and uh yeah remember stay strong in here as well yeah Peace out, everyone.